It's me, Noah, coming at you with another video. This time I'm here with my good friend, Orion. Orion was here uh, for Boston Regionals, and this is not the deck he played. No. But this is another deck he owns, so he's going to do a deck <laughs> Take it away. I'm playing a, perform a performer pal of Draco Slayers, because they fuck, fuck perform ages, man. You know? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, we're sponsored by Jesus, in case you guys are wondering. See, we got our sponsor, but we got have to do with it. So, you play the obvious three perform files called Cobra Choker. It's like your Stratos, so you have to like, match by three of. Uh, free Monkey Board, because when you activate him, you search for your other scale. Or uh, two Guitardle. When you play this, if you, have, if you play this and have another, if you play another Pendulum Performer Pal, well, you have this, you draw a card. So, like, it, but the com like the easiest thing I'm going to say is this is your scale, because you do this, search this, search this, so you have a complete scale with just this one card or just this card. So, that's kind of the nuts. Uh, that's like, and then lastly, I play, like, for the main, you know, the one sorcerer, because. I can't afford more than one. <laughs> and this card, in like in my version, you're not you don't need the plush fire effects and the riding effects aren't the focus. It's just like more of the the Jacko Slayer XYZs and the Synchro and the Fusion. So they really don't need to be destroyed. So this really is good to give you your searches to set up for next turn. But you really don't need more than one of that because you can search it so easily and it's really accessible. Uh, next I play two lizard jaws for draw power. These are the porn pals. I play Three Silver Claw, you know, go for those OTKs. This is also level four. You can search off of Pendulum, uh, Pendulum Wizard and Sorcerer, uh, and Skull Crow by Joker to Columb. Uh, this gives your monsters piercing and drops your defenses by 800. So if they it puts them at zero, and you can swing with a huge ass board over their monsters, like so they go into. Uh, they make the Wicked Witch, you can use this, drop, and they make Wicked Witch defense, you can use this, drop Wicked Witch to 200 defense, and then swing over it with, like, piercing damage, so that's really good. Uh, then I play two Drummerella. This is actually an, a main deck out to Nat Beast, because if you summon this and it attacks to make, it can boost its attack by 600, putting it at uh, 22, which runs, which crashes into Nat Beast, and then Nat Beast gets destroyed. So, it's a free out to Nat Beast if you open this, and you can also search it off of normally the Scorecore by Joker. See, this deck doesn't auto-lose to Nat Beast like other people decks do. And the one part Naga, this also mods your attack. I usually play the scale. Uh, that's it for the perform pals. Play a lot of them in the main part. Uh, now for the Draco Slayers. Three Luster, you know, everyone knows what he does. Three Vector, this is mainly just because for uh, Clash of Draco Rivals and uh, the one Master Pendulum. I might blend this up to two, but I'm kind of liking this 3 2 1 4 uh, uh, order right now. He lets you go into any any like uh, generic rank 4 versus he, you have to go only into the Synchro and Exosian Fusion with this guy. Now, the last two, I play two Aradne for uh, Shochi counter traps and the Luster abuse, you know. That's obviously good. Also, free counter traps are nice because that's like a way to play right now. Uh, the spells, oh my bad. Three Wavering Eyes, mandatory of and Pendulum decks that you search your scales, and if you resolve this for four, you like auto win the duel because you can search another copy and you bash a card and you search a Pendulum. So, then I play. Three in the Draco face off. What this does is that if you reveal uh, a Slayer and a Math and a Lord, you can special summon one, or and your opponent randomly selects one. You get special, you get a either special summon or put it in your zone. So you pick Luster and Vector. If you get Luster, you usually put it in your zone to do plays, or you special summon it. So it gives you a lot of accessibility and real really speeds up the Draco Slayer engine, which is kind of slow by itself. And then for the traps, I play Three Ultimate Providence. Stopping effects is nice. Solemn warning. Two drastic drop off and uh, trap trick chapel nightmare fight for the Rafflesia in my extra deck. How do you feel about the drastic drop offs in the deck? Well, I figured since every deck searches and I really don't have like the revolution uh, counter trap or uh, force back, I was like, I'll play this because they search their wizard and you go, okay, now your wizard's in the graveyard, you can't get it back. I mean, they have two more, but it's still, it's also free. It doesn't have any cost like other counter traps, so it's like, it's drawing or adding. So in the draw phase, you can do this. So in the draw phase, you can do this. Make them start with less card, or you can hit whatever they search. So it's actually like really versatile. There's a lot of options you can do with it. I really like it. Uh, under the extra deck, two Ignister, two Dynister, and two uh, the Draco Slayer Pendulum. 
Uh, these are your main XYZ's fusions and a synchro. You use, I use these, they're the win condition because you can just spam out two of these, one of these, and one of these really easily. And that's game on board and you get two spins of their thing, so that's really good. Everything else is kind of just toolbox after that, I really never grow into it. But uh, uh, one for Aphlesia, one Castell, one 101, one Emerald, and then we're going to this Dweller, Ragnar Zero, Diamond, Dire Wolf. And since I'm playing three fives, I play uh, Volcosaurus, and I also play uh, Gaia Charger. Just because I have like room in the extra deck, it's not really tight, because I'm not running Infinity, because that card is degenerate, and it's going to get, because all mix is going to get hit, and then I'll have a play having Infinity. So uh, that's the deck. With your deck, how consistent would you say it is? I think it's really consistent, honestly. Like, the performages and stuff are nice, but they really don't... Like, they're not needed in the deck to make the Performer Palace good. Like, I've loved the Performer Palace since they came out, and, like, I've tried playing them, and they're just not very good at all by themselves until we got all this new support from Bosch and Joker. But now that I can play kind of the Performer Palace by themselves, I really just kind of need to, like... I kind of added the Draco Slayers as like an extra wit engine into the deck versus like you can just play pure performance Palace at this point almost. And I'm really looking forward to the new uh, Unicorn and the uh, Odd Eyes stuff coming out because I'll probably start playing in the Odd Eyes versus the deck then. But I love Perform Palace, you know. Okay. Can, we expect, can we expect to see a dope deck profile of the Odd Eyes stuff? Maybe when it comes out. I don't know. I'm still playing around with ideas for that deck. Alright. This has been Noah and Orion with Team One. And thank you. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, Jesus is always the answer. <laughs>